Let's talk about enriching observations with open source and third party tools. The first that we'll start with is the Attack Navigator. And this is a tool that was created by MITRE uh, to help categorize and track and organize campaign by different types of events that are being that are occurring. So if you can go to the MITRE Attack uh, Navigator website, you can click on Create New Layer and then select which type of framework that you want to use, and we'll use the uh, Enterprise. You can even click on the More Options here to select which versions you're interested in using. So we can use version 9, uh, the Enterprise domain, and then we can create uh, a new layer. From inside of here, this shows all of the different MITRE attack uh, techniques, sub-techniques, and tactics. And we can do a lot of filtering through here to explore this to learn more about how they function and operate. So as an example, underneath execution, it has these two uh, vertical pipes here. You can click those and it will pop out with all the different types of scheduled tasks that it tracks and what the uh, uh, technique and sub-technique name are. These two vertical lines indicate that there, this is a sub, includes sub-techniques. So we have scheduled task job, and then we can see the different sub-techniques that are used on Linux, Windows, on in containers, using cron, scheduled tasks, etc. And you can click on these to highlight these uh, as you build out how you're gonna, you can use this, uh, this tool. Additionally, there is a filter here that we can use to say, I only wanna see uh, techniques and sub-techniques that are related to specific operating systems as an example. So if we only wanted to see things that were related to Linux, we could just click this Linux platform. Or if we are only interested in things that were involving Mac OS or Azure or Office 365, we could simply click these to include these in our uh, view. Uh, also, there is a multi-select tool that allows you to select a huge amount of things based on some of their other research. So you can search based on threat group, you can search based on the different types of software, or you can even search to see what type of mitigations would have the biggest impact on what you're doing. So as an example, we can see how antivirus and anti-malware would impact what different techniques and sub-techniques. We can simply click the select button and it highlights, it puts a black border around those. So uh, applying antivirus and anti-malware anti mitigations could impact the ability to use obfuscated files for information, template injection, phishing, different things that it shows you based on when you hit this select icon. Another tool is called IP Info, and this is a third party open source tool that allows you to query additional information about an IP address. So as an example, you can use this through curl. So first we can just use the curl command space ipinfo.io and then forward slash and an IP address. And it will return back information about it to include the organization, the ASN, where it's geographically located. And all this information is really helpful as you're trying to enrich uh, any analysis that you're doing if you're tracking a network-based indicator as an example. Uh, this says that it's missing off, missing authentication. If you register for a free account at IP Info, you can add a token to it that will allow you to get a little bit of additional information depending on the IP address. Uh, and I recommend doing that, it's free, and you can build that into your curl statement. Uh, another tool that is very popular is called uh, ThreatFox, and this is run by the Abuse CH team. And we can again use curl to query information about file-based indicators. So as an example here, we have using curl, we're going to query the ThreatFox API and say, I'm interested in a specific hash and we're passing it this hash here. And this file hash is uh, part of a botnet command and control server and it returns back some information. So here is one of the indicators of compromise is this domain. Um, it, what type it is, it's part of a botnet command and control. It has a name and description, some in other information Malpedia that you can go to read more about it and you know who reported it and what the confidence scaling is. So again, this is using an open source third party tool, it doesn't cost anything and allows you to do uh, indicator and observation enrichment to learn more about it. So let's copy this file hash and then we can go to VirusTotal, which is a very, very popular uh, third party tool that allows you to search for IPs, URLs, file hashes and a large variety of things. 
can simply populate the file hash in there and we can see the information that comes back about what everybody is saying from a vendor perspective if this is file hash is malicious. There are details that we can look at. We can get additional information about the, the file, what type of file it is, different parts of the header, relationships to other observations that are out there. So as an example, this file hash also has nine out of 86 detections for this domain, which could be they could be related or associated maybe because they share code or they share different parts of infra, uh, network infrastructure. Behavior information, again, what type of uh, HTTP request that it makes, DNS, IP addresses, the hash of the different, different certificates, all of this really valuable uh, information. And then finally, on, under the community tab, the community has that people have reported into virus tool about what they know about this. Joe Security is a free open source sandboxing tool that you can detonate malware in. And it obviously has a report that is written back into uh, virus total. And you can look at those reports right here uh, down, at the, down at the bottom. And finally, from inside of Kibana, we can even launch into third party uh, enrichments based on uh, observations that we have through a timeline as an example. So if you have, a, I did a simple query destination.domainelastic.co and I can see what the destination IP address is. If I click on that, it pops out some network detail information about it, but I can look at the who is information for that IP address. I can click and then launch directly into VirusTotal and what VirusTotal can tell me about that IP address. Obviously it's benign, but it's just a tool that's built right inside of Kibana that you can launch into um, other enrichments like VirusTotal and Talos Intelligence, which is run by Cisco.